Hi, it's Dr. Shea. Today, I'd like to talk about how constipation affects bedwetting and other bladder dysfunction. Bedwetting is usually multifactorial, but constipation is one of the most treatable causes. When I talk to families in the clinic about bedwetting and constipation, most families are really surprised about the association between the two. You might not think that your child is constipated, but usually by the time that your child is in school, you've really lost track about how frequently they're going to the bathroom, not to mention how frequently they're having a bowel movement. I commonly hear kids say that they might be having a bowel movement every day or maybe every other day, but their poops are a little bit hard or it hurts a little bit when they have a bowel movement. Um, most of them don't have a bowel movement at the same time every day. And really the biggest thing that I like to focus on is the volume of stool. Usually they don't say that the amount of poop that they see in the toilet is as much as they expect uh, how much they had eaten the day prior. I like to say, look in the toilet. If it looks like that's how much food you had eaten the day before, then that's a really good volume. The goal and expectation I usually like to set with families is to treat the constipation for at least six months to a year, whether or not that's using supplements or stool softeners or just increasing fiber and water drinking or just really good habits. The bladder is affected by the surrounding stool because you have poop sitting all around your bladder. Your bladder sits in your lower abdomen or in your pelvis, and you have poop sitting behind and on top of your bladder. And if you're not going really well, and if you have lots of poop in there, it really does compress the bladder, irritates it, um, prevents it from filling really well, and really just in general doesn't allow it to function well. The goal that I like to set with families is to treat the constipation for at least six months to a year. I usually like to treat the constipation for that long because what we're trying to do is keep the intestines relatively empty for a long period of time to allow healing. We're trying to shrink the intestinal diameter or size so it allows the bladder to function better as well as have increased tone to the intestines so that it's able to have better poops. You can find more information about how to treat constipation naturally and with supplements on my other videos. It's really important to note that if your child is having a lot of problems with managing their constipation, having lots of belly aches, blood in the stool, you really should be talking with your child's pediatrician about treatment.